Okay, this uh, equation doesn't really make sense right now. So I believe it's actually minus 2 uh, that we're going to go and solve for it. So this actually states minus 2. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, what we've done is we've spent some time uh, reviewing how to simplify and verify trigonometric identities. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to simply solve for our trigonometric identities. All right? And there's a couple ways that we're going to kind of look at this uh, to go for it. So first thing, it says secant of x minus 2. And what we're going to want to do is you know, solve for our x. We want to find the value. So what we're always going to be doing is we're going to be using our identities, our solving techniques, our inverse operations to isolate our function. So to do that, I'm going to say plus 2. Then you could say secant of x is equal to positive 2. All right. Now we need to find the value of secant of x is equal to 2. So what we want to do is find the angle, right? Secant of an angle equals 2. So I need to find what angle is equal when I take the secant of it is equal to 2. So we need to go back through and kind of remember, well, what exactly is the secant function? Remember secant, that's a bad marker. Remember the secant function, secant of any angle is going to be equal to the hypotenuse, or we could just say um, your radius, which in the Pythagorean theorem would be um, 1, or the unit circle would be 1 over x. So in reality, this is really, um, I'm sorry, hypotenuse over 2 is equal to your secant, which is 2. So therefore, you could say, well, that means then the cosine of x is equal to 1 over 2, right? Since these are reciprocals, do you understand the reciprocals on this? Do you understand that cosine and secant are reciprocals of each other? So if secant of x is equal to 2, cosine of x is equal to 1 half, right? OK, so now we just need to go back to remembering our unit circle and remember where, when is the cosine of x equal to 1 half. So going back to our lovely unit circle again, we need to now, on the interval of 0 and 2 pi, identify when is the cosine equal to 1 half. Well, it's going to be equal to 1 half at two different points. So by looking at your unit circle, what you now need to do is determine what are these two angles. So you have this first angle, which is now going to be x equals pi over 3. And then there's also this other angle, which is right there, which by going back through knowing your unit circle is going to be 5 pi over 3. So therefore, your, your equation is going to have two different solutions. You have pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3 on the interval of 0 and 2 pi. Questions? No? 